Welcome back to the Factor on Cincy. Many, many people are pissed off about this policy change by the governor in Texas. Greg Abbott, you all know him, is telling state agencies diversity. Diversity should not be considered in employment, hiring practices. Now, this comes from a memo sent by Abbott's office this week. The memo allegedly says the use of diversity, equity, and inclusion policies violate federal and state employment laws and hiring cannot be based on factors other than just merit. Let's talk about it. Political analysts Dallas Jones and Angela Box are here tonight on the Factor on Sense. So, Angela, your thoughts on this policy? Well, this is a Greg Abbott I love. And in our striving towards a more perfect union and to really embrace the words of Dr. Martin Luther King, we need to be a society that values content of character and merit over color of skin. And the fact of the matter is these policies, um, there's equity and then there's equality. And what the left likes to talk about is equity. That's equity, diversity, inclusion. What we really need to be going for is equality. People based Based on merits getting jobs and the fact of the matter is in the last 50 years when this policy was first started with affirmative action we are a much more diverse society now when certainly in Houston there are as many Hispanics as there are whites there's as many Asians as there are blacks so when you when you uh, discriminate on w with someone based on color of skin it really is it's setting it's setting people apart and that's what the left is very good at this and is a good so policy change. And so do you change. consider considering diversity discrimination no I think again I think what the left does when they talk about diversity inclusion and tolerance it is it is code word for wokeism it's code word for um, we need to make sure that because this is what the left thinks this is these are not my thought thoughts the left is saying that black people brown people minorities they're not as good enough smart enough capable enough that we have to give all of these different programs and all these different ladder rungs to them because they can't compete with white people that's the that's the um, that's the bottom line with what the left does believe. All right, Dallas, let's hear from you. Hi, I'm the left, <laughs> and and you know it's interesting to me that you know we we we're living in a day where people are are, are throwing around the words of Dr. Martin Luther King. They're taking aspects of the 1964 Civil Rights Act where you, where it talked about uh, uh, you know that people should not be discriminated in the workplace. That's because at the time people that look like me and you, Isaiah, were being discriminated against in the workplace so when you began to examine equity versus equality equality would suggest that we all started at the same place at the same time and therefore given the same tools that we should perform equally where equity suggests that there was already a bias and there was already a playing field that was never leveled and if you can level that playing field then we can compete and in most cases we can compete better than you two people that are accustomed to privilege equality feels like discrimination so the equity again is the code word for we're going to discriminate people against people based on the color of their skin and I, this is the deal when you talk about diversity hires we had a tragic case with Tyree Nichols about three weeks ago in Memphis two of those police officers were hired specifically as diversity hires because after George Floyd died, the Memphis police, chief of police said, we're going to hire more black and brown faces so people feel more comfortable interacting with police. Well, guess what? That doesn't always work out. And it all, it, it's, again, it's the height of, it, it is so discriminatory isn't the word I'm looking for. It is, it is insulting to black and brown people. What is insulting it is to listen to people that have actually created discrimination so in this what country. I'm ask talk you, about is that they're not being what treated I'm ask you That's insulting. Is who, who that is, is insulting. People that this. enslaved people who for 400 years talking about oh, we're not we're slavery. Yes, because it okay, existed. So, <laughs> so, so here's what I'm asking you, Dallas. Who is control? Who, who is in control of all urban areas? Who is in control of the entire educational system? It is the Democrat Party. It is the left. If you want to talk about real equality, let's get back to we live in Texas. As, as a former educator. This is a Republican state. As a former educator. Oh yeah, we're talking. We're talking about blue cities and blue areas. Don't don't place. But they don't control there. the entire so education. So anyway, my Sorry. point is, as a former educator, the way we get to equality, true equality, true equity, is by educating every child and, and making sure every child. 
child has a chance. Okay, go ahead, Dallas. Well, I mean, I just think at the end of the day, you know, again, we're talking, we're talking about this idea that that people are being discriminated against. You you want to talk about educating every child? Well, we'd like to educate every child, but there are systems that are being put in place by people that run the overall state educational system. That frankly, it's not educating every child. Look at the disparities. Look at where they exist. Let's talk about facts, not emotions. I mean, it's good to throw around the political punch words of wokeism and this and that, but when we really want to talk about people being insulted and people not being given an opportunity, we are still experiencing first in this country. The first African American this, the first African American that. That's not the case uh, for, for people that are saying they're being discriminated against. Um, no, it's the case when you have a culture that is dominated by leftists who want to bring race and equity and diversity and tolerance into every single thing, whereas most people on a day-to-day -day basis do not discriminate pe against people based on race, do not discriminate against anybody. The, the fact that your side is so hell-bent on dividing people based on race, it proves that you will never be able to move on and never embrace what Dr. King believed. We divided people based on race. Yes, you right. did. Fascinating. <laughs>